this video I'm going to show you how to create a powerful touch screen switching solution for your Blackmagic ATEM switcher, that can not only be controlled wirelessly, but from anywhere in the world. As I'm sure you're already imagining, this creates so many fun ways to drastically improve your workflow, using free software and equipment you likely already have. Before you get started, make sure you already have the following software configured and equipment on hand. An Android or Apple tablet. Companion software. Capture card for multi-view output. A computer running an unused instance of OBS. Any remote access software, team viewer or parallels access for example. First, create a fresh OBS project with a canvas resolution of 471 by 262. Then, change the frame rate to 30 frames per second to help things run smoother. Next, add your multi-view output as a video source. You can use a capture card, or for this example, I have my multi-view as an NDI source on my network. Resize the input source until input 1 on your multi-view output fills the entire canvas. To stay organized, label this scene, scene 1, for input 1. Duplicate this scene for each of your inputs. And then you can go back and match each input to the correct scene number. Once you're done, be sure to double check that all scene and input numbers match up correctly. Next we are going to add a browser source to each scene. This is how commands will be sent to the companion software. You can find the URL for each of your buttons here in your companion button editor. Make sure to also include the entire URL of your companion server before it. Now, repeat this step for each of your scenes. In your settings panel, apply the following settings to your multi-view preferences. Finally, you are ready to open up your multi-view window and test the full functionality. Now you can remotely connect to this computer with a tablet. For my example, I am using the Parallels Access Remote Access Android app, but any remote login or VNC app will work. Alternatively, you don't need a tablet at all if OBS is installed on a touchscreen laptop like a Microsoft Surface. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe to this channel to help me grow my own live streaming project.